Hi everyone, Slow from TradingAngel.com, it's weekly outlook for gold and silver price for the week of June 11th to the 15th and a short recap for June 4th to the 8th, so let's get started. So what happened for throughout, throughout June up to date? As you can see, gold and silver prices continued their very erratic upward trend. And even though gold and silver sharply declined uh, on Thursday, they still managed to level out on Friday and on a monthly scale, Gold price rose by a little over 1.5%, while silver by nearly 2.5%. This chart shows the ratio between gold and silver, and even though gold continued to outperform silver at the first couple of days of June, they managed to, the, the ratio managed to sharply decline and then level out between the 55 to 56 ratio. So what were the main movers and shakers throughout last week? The Australian GDP for the first quarter came out and ver with a very positive result of a growth rate 1.3% quarter over quarter. This is, this is a much better result than many had anticipated and helped rally the Aussie dollar and consequently may have curbed some of the decline of gold and silver at least in the first few days of the, of the week. Debt crisis around Spain continues to be the main, the main news item in Europe and probably will continue to occupy news throughout next week. The recent, the recent news is that Spain will, will, uh, will receive from the European Union roughly 100 billion euros to bail out its banks. It will be interesting to see that whether or not there will be enough, how the banks will react to it and what, were, what will be the ramifications eventually on uh, stabilizing the banking system in Spain. Bernanke's testimony was probably one of the main events of the week, as following this testimony, gold and silver sharply declined uh, on Thursday. Bernanke testified and said that the U.S. economy isn't doing as bad as many had anticipated, especially after the disappointing labor report of the past couple of months. He also said that the quantitative easing is still a viable option and on the table. Nevertheless, he took back it and said that for now he doesn't see any reason for uh, he doesn't um, he didn't say that he will actually issue such a such another stimulus plan. And finally, he also stated that there are some uh, it, there could be some. A diminishing returns for quantitative easing too at least so it's, it puts even another damps not even further the 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 possibility of Bernanke issuing another quantitative easing plan China's rate cut was also big news on Thursday as it uh, reduced its interest rate by 0 0.25 percent points this is the first rate cut to, since 2008 U.S. jobless came declined by 12,000 to 377,000. This was also on the news on Thursday. So what should we expect for the upcoming week of June 11th to the 15th? There's the new, new loans, China's new loans report. According to the previous report, the total loans declined. The recent rate cut of ba Bank of China might help rally the amount of loans taken in the months to follow. Great Britain manufacturing production will... Uh, We'll also issue a, an update in regards to what happened. In the previous report for March, the index rose by 0.9% month to month. This news may affect the British pound, which is also linked with forex and commodities rise, rates. U.S. federal budget balance will be updated for on Tuesday. In this report indicates the government debt growth and thus may affect the U.S. dollar. In the May report regarding April, the deficit shrunk by $59 billion to a, de to a total deficit of $790 billion for the fiscal year of 2012. If this, this trend will continue, it may positively affect the U.S. dollar and thus adversely affect bullion rates. U.S. retail sales report will be released on Wednesday. In April, this retail, the retail sales edged up by 0.1%. If there will be sharp shifts in this report, it could have some indication in regards to the development of the U.S. economy. U.S. PPI will be released on Wednesday as well. In the previous report, the, the index declined by 0.2% and rose by 1.9% in the past 12 months. 
this news tends to be cor negatively correlated with bullion rates. So it'll be interesting to see whether or not there will be some major shifts in this report. On Thursday, there is a bond auction of the U.S. 10-year 10 10 year bonds. The U.S. government will issue another bond auction in the previous in the previous auction, which was held at the second week of May, the rate reached 1.86%. U.S. Core Consumer Price Index will also be will also come out on uh, Thursday. In uh, April, the CPI remained unchanged, while the Core CPI rose by 0.2%. U.S. Jobless Claims will also uh, there will be the weekly update on Thursday as well. If there will be some major shifts, it could have some effects on uh, the U.S. dollar and consequently bullion rates. Bank of Japan will will decide on the interest rate and whether or not there will be some monetary expansion. Up to now, Bank of Japan kept the interest rate unchanged. If the bank will introduce a new monetary stimulus plan, it may affect the yen, other exchange rates and commodities prices. On Friday, ECB President Mario Draghi will give a speech. Follow, uh, the ECB kept the interest rate unchanged according to the last ECB press conference at 1%. If there will be some uh, indications in regards to whether or not ECB will be more involved, especially now with the banking system, the, the collapsing banking system in uh, Spain and its uh, bailout, the uh, that is about to come, it could have some ramifications in the, on the euro US dollar exchange rate. And finally, there's also on Friday the US TIC long term purchases. The Treasury International Capital Report will present the changes in the purchases and sales of US long term treasuries in April. In the previous report for March, the net foreign sales of US treasuries reached $362 billion. Okay, that's it. For more on gold and silver, you're welcome to check out my blog at trainingenergy.com. Thank you for listening and have an excellent week.